Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see like how we can calculate the dynamically rank based on multiple columns. So when I say multiple columns that I have taken here is state and the other one is the city. So for cities, how much the total sales and how you can calculate this ranks at an individual level. So if we see here, California, Los Angeles has the highest sales. But if I change the state, let's say some other state, let's say Ohio, the Columbus is the highest state. So uh, sales. So how we can calculate these things dynamically in Power BI and let's get started. So generally what we calculate the rank uh, here, uh, to create a new column but here we are calculating a measure actually that that will definitely going to help you uh, to filter your visuals let's say based on the rank like you want to you have let's say 10 states uh and each state has let's say 10 10 20 20 cities but you want just only five let's say five or uh five top cities you want to display or five uh top five states so how you can do this uh, in power bi and it helps a lot so let's get started for this so for this actually i need uh i will just do one thing i will create a matrix, matrix visual from the scratch so what i will do here i will just first select the state and the total sales. Total sales is nothing but the sum of total sales that I have one measure I have created. So first we will calculate the rank, let's say for for a, for a one uh, single column. So how we can create these things? Let me do a quick measure and let's, let's get started. So rank the rank the sales because I have already one rank column is already there. That's why rank measure. So let's see how we can do these things. So first we need the rank rank x. So what it takes? The first one is the table what it is so for this we will take the all selected as a table all selected and sales data and which category we uh, category as in like which column you need to use so we have to use the state here let's close the bracket so let, we have the six now what of what uh, expression is like uh, what we need to do calculate it's a total sales we need to make so we can we can skip the value and then order is descending order like let's say from top to bottom like highest sale will be one and this and let's say we want the tensor rank we do not want to skip anything so this is done like it will rank my state Okay, now once it's done, I will pull this here. So if you see the California is the highest sale, it's rank one like this. Now let's say we want if we add any city here. Okay, if I just expand the California, if you see everything one to randomly has been excluded because we have like created at a state level, not at a uh, city level. Let's say for example, what I can do here is like I will just change the city here and like just for an example, I will show you how it will change. If you see here, uh, so in California it get one. Okay and the rank has been delivered, but rest of the cities, uh, states are also 111, which is not correct, right? So it has to rank at both the levels. Now for this, what we can do, we can just copy paste. We can actually create the first variables. So let's say where rank city. We have the rank city now. We need to create one more variable, which is rank state. Let's paste this thing here uh, and let's select state. So we have the two uh, ranks both of them will be calculated at uh, dynamically uh let me correct the spell checks then what else now we want to return these things whenever we want uh, in an output so return now what we want so for this thing actually i will use the switch game because the reason being let's say as you have seen here right all the states have been ranked as one sorry i just do the uncheck i will filter this thing first Okay, so California has been marked as the one. The rest of the things are was not marked as one. So here also you can see the one, two, three. So we want this kind of a structure. So this, I will go back to this thing, return. We want to switch between state and rank. So we will use switch case statement here. If it is true, let's say we are saying, okay, if it is a state, then what? If it is not in a state, what? So is in scope. Since the state is in scope, since city is in scope, we want, we want to calculate the rank on that. So first I will go with the city. Okay, once I have the city, I have to just use the comma, sorry, comma. So we have the value, then what expression we need? We need city, yeah, it's done. Now let's go with, is in scope for state. So when, whenever we are at a state level, we want the state one. Yeah, so this is how you can get the rank. Now one disclaimer that actually I want to uh, purchase, the way switch case, uh, switch actually works, if the value is true, the innermost actually we have to take it. So in our most hierarchy, we have to take it. So like the lower hierarchy, we, have, we should always going to take this way. So every state has some cities. So this is the Los Angeles is my inner, uh, the lower hierarchy. So lower hierarchy should come at the first place and the second hierarchy at the, uh, at the second place. Likewise, let's see if you have now country. So in scope sales country, and similarly, you need to calculate for the country as well. So this is the one disclaimer that I wanted to share with you and you have to take care of this thing. This has been done. Let me pull this rank into here. If you see now one, two, three here, and if I just shut down the California, we have the New York at the set, second. I have sorted down already into this thing. Now this has been done. Now on the top of this, let's say you want don't want all the ranks. You want let's say top five. 
in each state and how you can do this thing also let's let's do this for this top five we need so we want to make it dynamically so what i can do i can create a parameter for a numeric range and let it rename as rank dynamic it should be old number the minimum should be one incremental let's give it for incremental one and add as a slicer here okay so let's say if i select uh if i select top three so then top three rank should be filtered for my each state so how we can do this thing so again we need to go back to this particular measure instead of return let's create a declare as a variable which is results okay now results equals to now what we want we want a return a return if my results less than or equals to my my parameter that i created the rank dynamics dynamics then give me total sales okay so right now whatever uh, let's say we have selected three years so i will get the these three values the same los angeles san francisco and san diego these are the three uh will be as return so let's close this thing yes so if you, if you see i got the top three here now let's make it five we got the five so when we are into this visualization just remove the total sales and if you see for every city we got the top five even for the state also we got the top five states so i guess this is how you can dynamically calculate the rank and also filter at the same time top n values if you see i have created 11 so the 11 values are filtered here so this helps a lot when it comes to visualization conditional formatting uh creating charts because it's a there are n number of states so if you want to create a bar graph out of it it will look messy so you can just have let's say top three and give an option to user that okay select this thing and like so many things then that, that can be play around this uh, rank or particular rank so i guess hope you like this video follow for more power bi updates thank you so much